In our quest for vitality and longevity, one practice has stood out, promising not just weight loss, but a reversal of aging itself. Welcome to our deep dive into intermittent fasting and its profound impact on longevity, inspired by the groundbreaking research of Dr. David Sinclair. When we exercise and if we skip a meal, what we're doing is inducing this very ancient, very, very ancient, billions of years ancient mechanism that protects our body against decay, disease, uh, and the root causes of aging. Intermittent fasting isn't just a diet trend. It's a lifestyle that's been scientifically linked to improved health markers and longevity. Dr. David Sinclair, a leading expert in genetics and longevity, explains that fasting triggers a survival mechanism within our cells, enhancing their ability to repair and rejuvenate. Well, the, the problem is we've built a world that's that's very comfortable. And we were not, we did not evolve in these conditions. We are meant to be typically cold and hungry. And in response to those adversities, our bodies fight back. And so what the problem is that we now sit in chairs, we eat as much food as we want. We don't have to walk anywhere or lift anything heavy and our bodies become complacent. Now, what was discovered is you need hormesis. What's that? That basically means the what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, and so what we do when we exercise and what, if we skip a meal, what we're doing is inducing this very ancient, very, very ancient, billions of years ancient mechanism that protects our body against decay, disease, uh, and the root causes of aging in an effort to survive. Uh, and so you really want to do the opposite of what modern life gives you. Fasting has been shown to improve biomarkers associated with aging, such as insulin sensitivity, inflammation, and cellular repair processes. Well, there are, there are three main longevity mechanisms that we know of. Um, they have certain names. One's called sirtuins. There's seven of those genes in our body, and we've been working on them for 25 years. Another one's called mTOR. The other one's called AMPK. The names don't matter as much as the fact that they're activated by, by a bit of hunger. To give you an example, in 2005, we, we published a science paper that showed, which at the time was revolutionary, now it's just considered obvious, but one of these sirtuin genes called SIRTP1 was activated by caloric restrictions. So we found that animals that had been eating less and had low levels of insulin and another factor that's related called IGF-1 insulin, related growth factor, that boosted the levels dramatically of this SIRT1 protective longevity gene. Uh, and then we showed that protects against DNA damage. Uh, and so what we do when we're hungry, uh, skip a meal or two, which is what I do every day, uh, it boosts up our longevity genes and they take care of us. Uh, we know that if we boost the longevity genes in animals, they live longer, they're healthier, they stay fitter for longer, and they die much quicker at the end of life. And you know, I think everybody would know that in, in human history, fasting is considered one of the healthiest things you can do. Um, and so there, there's so much evidence that it's really incontrovertible that skipping meals is not only good for you, but will make you live longer. But it's not just about living longer. It's about living better. Intermittent fasting can lead to improved mental clarity, energy levels, and an overall sense of well-being. As we've seen, the path to longevity might not be through more, but through less. Less eating, more fasting, and a greater focus on when we eat. With the guidance of experts like Dr. David Sinclair, we're uncovering the secrets to a longer, healthier life. It's time to take control of our health, one fast at a time. Adopting intermittent fasting can be as simple as extending the time between dinner and breakfast. The popular 16.8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window, is a great starting point. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you're intrigued by the science of intermittent fasting and longevity, consider subscribing for more content like this. And remember, always consult with a healthcare professional before making changes to your diet or health routine.